okay? Lower part of the face, 
So maybe his hero costume was built to like withstand the fire, and so it's the parts of him that were uncovered that got damaged. Um, whether he damaged himself or it was Endeavor who did it accidentally or on purpose, he's not nice, we don't know. Um, so apparently he's getting kind of redemption arc. I don't know. Um, but I still don't think he's a very nice guy. Um, so whether it's on purpose or accident, this thing in it could be from fire. Not that. Um, Dabby's also very elusive about his identity, even the Shigaraki. Um, in the same thing, I kind of included the manga section where they're talking back and forth and he's invasive. In the same scene, he's seen, very, seen being very um, committed to carrying out Stain's uh, goals, and that possibly might be related to a personal grudge that he has against heroes, like his father, his family, etc. Also, his name is revealed in this scene. And the only other character whose name is not revealed in this scene is Shigarachi, which, as we know, was important because his name revealed that he's related to a previous leader of Blood for All. So there's only two characters not named um, in the Kanina Ward scene when they break into the League of Villains. One of them had a very clear reason, the other one is Daddy. So I think that might also be important. So my conclusion is that Daddy is probably a quarter of you, and I think that's one of the more straightforward theories. So if you thought that was complicated kind of out there, the other ones are going to be very weird. <laughs> this is the most straightforward one of the whole panel. So who agrees? Dabby Todoroki. Who? Yeah? Who? Who? Fairly popular. Um, did I miss anything on how the theory works? Did anyone have any other observations? Cool. Now we're going to start getting... Oh, you have one? I don't know. I kind of had a theory about why he's got rid of him. Because you know how like, his mother had the ice powers and everything? Mm -hmm. Maybe his firepower was so into Maybe instead of inheriting the ability to shoot ice, he inherited the inherent weakness. That's why he got burned so much. That burned could so all much be when Endeavor saw that he realized he was a failure and just run out. Yeah. And yeah. maybe he just died his parents because he doesn't want anyone to know he yeah. was originally part of the city and most of the world. I agree. Hiding his identity could be a very big And at the very least, he has his dad's hair. That's got to be. That's got to piss him off to some extreme degree. I agree. Yeah, you have some? Uh, manga spoiler alert. Yeah. I'll cover your ears. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Todoroki actually used blue fire in one scene. Mm -hmm. What? Some kind of school. Uh, the, 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 the sand bar? Yeah, so, so in the in the manga, building off the parents, uh, they do this, this is a really big spoiler, they basically have like a team fight with Oh, class. in some of the very recent chapters, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. With, with class B and class A. Uh, yeah. No, class A and class B. After the um, Shinzo. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so. I'm trying to be really vague, but then he was the fire. Yeah. Just, just saying. So a whole new arc at the beginning of the manga, and there's a lot of stuff there. I haven't been able to include much post the Shinzo, you know, stuff. But there is a lot of stuff coming out in that as well. Um, with the going belt, going back to the fire thing, um, if you remember the Hoso City incident, whenever uh, Endeavor used this blue flame on the Nomu, mm -hmm. it's very similar to Dobby's flame. The only difference, going into science here, the only really difference between Dobby's flame and that flame is the fact that his, uh, Endeavor's flame pretty much was almost had left nothing left other than the smoke version of the head. Whereas you can see in this picture lately that there's other stuff coming off of Dobby as he's burning. Therefore, the flames are similar to like an orange flame, though it's blue, which yeah. could mean that he it's you, well, it's either hotter or it uses another element within. Yeah. Yeah. Chemical yeah. composition changes color of flame. So, okay. so I see two more hands, and we're going to move on to the next theory. Um, what was yours? I don't know, I'm just oh. saying, like, doesn't blue fire just mean that the fire is hotter? What, doesn't that yeah. just mean that Not Dobby prefers to use a more destructive Ag type again, of fire? Again, again. Sometimes if you add different elements, it'll make a fire turn blue. If you were to add magnesium, it would turn, it would almost turn white. Yeah, like that's how hot it gets. Right. So but that just means a specific heat, right? So that no. means just no. more to heat or out. chemical composition. There's there's more of a there's more of a chemical that turns yeah. blue. Yeah. Without changing. Yeah. Heat. I guess yeah. we see where both of these come in because it is slightly different, similar, but he just disintegrates things. So at a base level, it's not exactly the same. Certain elements burn in different temperatures. Yeah. And yeah. Um, so right now I'm reading, like, the design, but 
Trying to erase a closed quirk, which doesn't really work some way. Right? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
but this is about me. Um, and in Zenport, incredibly open and about pretty much everything, um, including, you know, once for all, and all those details that people just don't know. Um, all might, might not be aware that the captain's pacifist and the mate had gone to the Philip. Um, all might knew about the USJ, uh, USJ training, reasonably would have known about the training camp as well, never confirmed or denied. That's that theory. Yes. So, so the theory is that, um, it's like who, I can't pronounce his name, is the actual traitor that All Might is just confined so in Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. All Might's not the bad guy. Okay, okay that's yeah. all we He is the <laughs> one that is confiding in a friend who just happens to be yeah, communicating. Sadly. So that's why I don't know. So, kind of a manga spoiler, not really a manga spoiler because it's from Vigilante. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, All Might has withheld information from Tsukaguchi before. Um, other things is just the way that they portray his character in that, because his character is more prominent in Vigilante. Mm -hmm. um, he's a lot more straightforward and he's like a by the book kind of character, so mm -hmm. I don't feel like he would be a traitor yeah. in that sense. But again, if you don't read manga and go like back to your like a bunch of times, you like these are things that you'll never see. I've read. No, I must confess, I'm not completely caught up on vigilantes. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. But I have read a lot of it, mainly two books I saw lost. I'm obsessed with that here. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know all the finer details about how we differ, so that could very well affect the theory of film. I mean, if, if you wanted to say Tsukawachi, then you could probably say his sister, because his sister was like, a little bit more loose lips that that could that could and yeah <laughs> this theory can evolve with the help of vigilance okay next one oh. I am sorry <laughs> but she's present during the conversation she would be the healer she would also very likely be generally privy to sensitive information that she can effectively do her job like once for all um no he would suspect the sweet old lady. You always suspect him first, and then you kill him first whenever you're in a horror game. <laughs> <laughs> always we suspect him first. Yeah, yeah. 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 This next one, oh, or she just forgot about it. It hasn't been talked about in over 100 chapters. This might have changed in the past few chapters. Post Shinzo, has it changed? I mean, okay, so it probably hasn't been mentioned. Or if she forgets things, like in the consistency of the quirk, of her own name, and just generally is an out. Yes. For those of us who don't read the manga, who is that character? Um, that is a self portrait of the manga. Oh. <laughs> yes, so he never draws himself looking like himself, he just draws himself with a hand. So that is that is the creator's manga. Yes. I have a theory of this one was about Nezu. Um, yes. This kind of a weird idea. What if the reason why he had the quirk and everything is because one for all for one gave it to him. Gave it to him as sort of an idea, sort of like if yeah, I will need you I will need you one day for a favor. <laughs> favor he gave him like if he gave him that he probably gave him his intelligence and everything. I mean, that's why he has sort of that cynical side to him. Maybe. Like, you see, they're able to force that can go for basically anything at this point. And he got a lot. And maybe, like, he had the chain reaction before, maybe that's why, well, he didn't get caught. Very true. So, yeah. He, he forgets things, he's tired, he works hard. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For back to Hagakure, um, she so there was one theory going around that she could actually turn other things invisible, but she's not showing it because it was never shown how exactly she passed her exam, 
And another thing was back in the camping arc, um, there's a scene where all the girls are sleeping, but there is no outline of her. Yes. Or there was, yes. but they're like. Not to add that. Yes, that is also part of the commentary. Yes. So. She might have just been sleeping on top of cups. Yeah, but it's like or it's. Like? But um, you would have seen like the di- indents. Yeah, and part. the main yeah, reason why yeah, people yeah, bring that up is because I guess it was mentioned somewhere <laughs> uh, in her like <laughs> biopic that she sleeps in the nude. So it's like, if she was actually sleeping there, why wasn't there like an indent in her uh, so sleeping? She so she wasn't there. To get so yeah. it's either she that, all telling them or, or poor, poor Hir- um, Hirokoshi forgot to draw that. Yeah. <laughs> this oh, could be another okay. implication. Okay. So I have a theory that uh-huh. there is no traitor, but there is a mole. Mm. And the mole is someone we've seen recently in the anime, but probably for a long time in the manga, Someone who can change their form uh, mm, because they get so good one. I'm thinking Hiroko Toga is taking over someone's identity in there because there are a lot of times where people don't act the same way That's in one really scene good. than the next. I would love to see examples of characters not acting the same way, which could just be Horikuchi needing a nap. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's just like it's like minor it's like minor differences yeah. that I've just noticed. I like that out. theory a lot. Huh. I like it. That's really there cool. was another hand in the mirror Yeah, I was just going to say, it's either, because she's invisible, she might just be 30, right? Like, she's been around <laughs> 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 Which, first of all, is really pretty creepy, right? But secondly, <laughs> it would allow her to blend in, because it's not like anybody could say, oh, wait, well, you're way too old to be. And a lot of her stuff is very overtly teenage girly. Like, like more teenage she's pushing than it. All the other teenage exactly. Girls. She's trying to. Yeah. She's trying to hard. Or it's a school nurse, because if all the kids keep getting hurt, jobs here. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Conclusion. Horikoshi probably forgot about it, but I like the Nezu theory. Uh, who here thinks it's Nezu? Raise your hand. Okay, so um, All for One was a first-generation quirk music. 
Um, thus, the chances of him having a child without quirk are higher uh, than people born to the current generation, because quirks have become more prevalent over time. So um, that might explain why he doesn't have a quirk. Um, also, green is a symbol for one for all, and red is a symbol for all for one, and Minoria has both, and you can kind of see both of them in those pictures there. And Bakugo points out in a very recent chapter um, that uh, Minoria's ability to hold multiple quirks, spoiler, sorry, and many people, I apologize, but it's very similar. Oh, I don't care. Oh. Really and there's two what? different uh, pages where they go over that comment. Um, also, Dr. Tsubaka, the doctor that treated Midori as a child, is also shown working for AFO on the Noble Project. Same doctor. Okay. So, why? That's very strange. Um, Dr. Tsubaka's grandson was likely turned into a noble. Oh, went ahead a little bit. Uh, the Gnome showed familiarity, familiarity with Midori. Um, so, this strengthens, strengthens the connection between the two. Um, and now, you might have seen the next slide, but we're getting into that thing that you mentioned. Okay, cool. Star Wars references. Um, there's a lot of Star Wars references in uh, Boku no Hero. Um, we have Captain of the Station, Haku, which is Ha, um, Hiyashi, which is Sheik, Kamino Ward, Dagobah Beach. You know, you can kind of get the location parallel. Um, then we have character parallels. <laughs> Yes. I'm going to let that sink in for a minute. <laughs> 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 um, I just want to say, if it is, then it's stupid, because that means me literally so ripping it off. <laughs> who is Luke's father? Like, who? Spoiler yeah. alert to Star Wars. I am your father. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Darth Vader's Luke's father? Okay, so maybe it, okay. This is more going towards if uh, well, all for one was Midoriya's dad. Maybe he wasn't born quirkless, and and his quirk was just taken to him before he had the ability to manifest the quirk, because it is not strictly stated that the quirk is within you, like it manifests within you. It's stated that that happens and it manifests at some point around age four. <laughs> Uh, the bone uh, thing, the, the thing with the, the bone. Again, another again, fucking all for one could have probably taken someone's bone changing quirk and then. It's changed a little the harder for children because they develop, so you would start seeing. But some you can always. It's not that easy with children. I know it's not that easy with children, but like we're, you're always born when you're born with all 206 bones in your body, maybe more because sometimes they need to fuse together as you go older. Yeah, you're, bo you're born with more, more bones. You're born, yes, yeah. yes. So, again, the bone changing quirk can make it to where he looks like he has that joint in them. And then on top of that, the doctor used to, was working with all for one. So he could have switched it's out. No he could have switched out with a quirk, quirk right. quirkless it's person, switched it out with Midoriya's, mm -hmm. and then If they happen to also work with Nomu, they could... He could have predicted how his bone growth would become to ensure that it wouldn't look awkward and would just grow into perfect results. I would but say. And then another way to counteract that one is switch the x rays around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's a simple solution. Yeah. The <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 purpose is working for all for one, so it would be very easy to tamper with that. Yes. Okay, I'm kind of building out that theory. Maybe like the pork is kind of like a seed that grows and once it gets maturity, so maybe just so maybe just taking away like ripping the seed out of the ground before it grows. Mm -hmm. Another idea is like I kind of talked about this earlier. It's kind of like my idea. Maybe all all for one is his dad. I was kind of I had this weird theory from a friend that it never may have been Midoriya's dad because maybe he saw that his mother having levitation ability or the magnetism would have been like cool as a quirk, but then we saw he was working and basically like forget this thing. Because that doesn't Green sound out fire. of <laughs> Yeah, that would be an affair at that point. Like yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I would not. Yeah. The thing is, though, that would just make Green that would still fire. make his chances of getting either a fire quirk more higher than being quirkless entirely, since yeah. Yeah, Endeavor is user. not a first generation quirk user. And yeah. It's just a theory. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different aspects of this theory, though, and so that's why I don't settle on it being his dad or just being related. Like, I don't know which one I want to attach myself to with either of them. Um, because the first generation quirk user one, who knows? Because there's still people born quirkless. Like, if you saw the movie, um, Dave's daughter, 
and he's not a first generation work user either, but chances were higher back then it would become more prevalent. So, yeah. Sure. Or yeah. poor creator has forgotten. Yeah, or he, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So that's a, that's the thing like you would like have a list of things that you need to keep memorizing and like look at it as you're making the thing. Like that's like Midoriya's quirk was who's his father. <laughs> like, it, it'd be it'd be like one of those two things. Yeah. Kirishima's most uh, loved hero oh, yeah, was Riot. Uh, Crimson Riot. Right. Yes. What if Crimson Riot was actually one? Because we Ooh. have yet to see Crimson Riot in the anime right. and in the manga. I'm pretty sure because I have yet to see that. And then another, and then another one. Yeah. The uh, what, what if it's yeah, not Bakugo but Bakugo's dad? Because he seems really standoffish towards the two pretty much powerhouses of his house, which is yeah. a which is Bakugo's mother and Bakugo himself, mm -hmm. but why would the question like why why would he do that? Well, simply because if he had the if he had the all for one quirk, he w not all for one. Uh, yeah, all for one. Mm -hmm. he, he would um one, one, one broad. No, I I messed up earlier too. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. Like why 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 would the, the, like it would be like why would he be scared? But at the same time, maybe because. He was quirkless, and then all f a one for all would be his way to have a quirk. But then he gave it to someone else whenever his family started, so he could keep his family safe. And now he's quirkless, and so he can't really well, he can't really stop them from fighting. Yeah. How old is he? Uh, so <laughs> that's how the old question. is his man? That's the question. Yes. Yeah. So he, if that's the the case of like him being quirkless, like he can't be quirkless. There's seven powers tied to one for all, and that's that meaning true. that. They stopped calling from each person that it was given to. Yeah. yeah. Dory is the first quirkless person. Like, all, like all, all Might was the first one to be quirkless, and then Midori All Might, was, all might is the, supposedly the quirkless, but like there's a theory that he's not quirkless because of the muscle. Yeah. I mean, but then there's a thing because the muscle like, yeah, is not things. being quirkless, but yeah. yeah. Invitation. What's what's right? You know, like what's this right? It's uh, nitroglycerin and uh, some kind of like acid that makes what that makes it close to the They did the whole science for it. Sorry, for. Uh, this uh, time travel theory. So in uh, the Japanese fandom has started kind of venturing into that possibility. There was a doujinshi that was released that was a Deku X Bakugo one. Oh yeah, oh, sorry. Um, and the uh, Deku came from the future to prevent him from getting the quirk because he felt like he wasn't deserving of it. So it's kind of interesting that, you know, this isn't, you know, this is, this is a considered 
theory. Yeah, you know, when I Googled a lot of this to try to find the sources, because I really want to give people some credit for these because it's not all me, um, I also found a lot of fan work that are related to it, but I actually ran across a different pairing. I ran across some Kudo Kirishima, which, you know, they're the two that are tied to the series, so I'm not Any other, someone else? Oh, yes. My student. <laughs> Yeah, it's both of them mixed to make Bakugo's quirk. I forgot. What was his dead quirk? What is his dead quirk? What is his dead quirk? Small explosion. Small explosion. Guys are going to go to the next slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
like protect while being a total douche to animals. <laughs> protect <laughs> one. But so what about the shadows? Is the shadows like the previous one? It could be like the worst time that can give as much time itself. Yeah. So, so the Sonic fandom has like so, or the Sonic storyline has so many time travel things that this is like no news to me. But it's like <laughs> none of this makes sense because it's, it's yeah, like yeah, why would you go back in time? Like, what exactly are you trying to protect? Yeah, what are you trying, you know? And another thing is, who could else could have been like this <laughs> linear timeline? Unless they went. My only my only possibility is that they knew that originally uh, All for One was, or One for All, uh, OSA, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, oh, God, there's nobody. There, <laughs> my, uh, my one, like, thread to this is that maybe the previous one, what was like, the third one, would it, would it have been, was going to die, and what beforehand, yeah, third one, mm -hmm. was going to die before being able to pass on the ability. So they volunteered themselves to go up there and continue it on so it can continue on to the next generation for when it's needed. Yeah. That would be my only... That, that <laughs> would make sense. I mean, it, but, I, I don't but time believe in this theory, but that is a good motivation for but the theory. Time, time things, time ripples, and yeah. just... Well, Sonic fandom is stepping in. Yeah. <laughs> it's like we, we've, we've seen it happen <laughs> and we're still confused. It, none of it's conclusive. Uh, I, I'm retracting that because it just, it, I got a theory that went really far deep. And that's what we're doing. <laughs> no, no, it went deeper than anything. <laughs> like, I'm scared to go into it again. Okay. Welcome to the Santa <laughs> 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 Is it um, specifically stated that there are seven orcs? Or is it like there are more than that? Because okay. I know that um, the guy all for one. The guy behind you will know this answer. It's better than me because it's very easy to have a Basically, what happened was was that all for, or one for all gave a power to the all for one, the first all for one user, not knowing that he actually had a quirk, which was the stockpiling quirk. So after that, he gave his power to number two, to number three, to number four, well, to number five. My huh? brother had the giving quirk, right? Yeah, it's all for one. Yeah, okay, all so, for one. so all for one, quirk you have yeah. to give. So he had the, the giving quirk, and then one for all gave him the stockpile quirk so that he could gain power as he like grew up. Mm -hmm. And then from there, that's when he started giving his powers out. Once it hit number seven, which is not a Shimura, she was the last one to have a quirk, while All Might said that he was quirkless, and Izuku is quirkless. So that means that besides the stockpile quirk, and whichever one is the super strength quirk, then there's five other quirks that we need to get through. Unless in the manga, okay. then... No, just, he has something, he has like, he has like some X yeah. quirk, quirk, sorry, right? It's ten. Because oh. you have to remember, All For One started whenever he, whenever... He just gave uh, him that one quirk, though. He gave, yeah, he gave him that one quirk. But that would still be stockpiling a quirk. Therefore, the first <laughs> so user had to make all yes. of this number meaning how it makes money. That's all I'm saying. Like, there's ten users actually, starting from all for one. Yeah. The only thing I can say with that is like I know the Japanese are really into puns, so this would make sense. Yeah. A lot of things would make sense, but a lot of things don't make sense, and, and I just want to have a little bit of fun. The number just, power just could look still look work, right? because it's, you know, <laughs> it's, you know the you just first have to person to hold in, you know, yeah. as if it's still You just have to disregard the, the, the giving thing. power, because the giving power is not really like a power, it's, that's well, like a yeah. superpower, it's just like a, a way to pass it down. But you yeah. said there's so much more to learn to Izuku directly. It's like, yeah, no, after me, you have this much more work to learn. No, not Yagi. Well, it was, so, the donkey. Yeah, yeah. So whoever the the whoever's the web one, sorry, manga spoiler. So one power said, oh, you have now you have X amount of, amount to learn. So uh, it's a question for how much power there were. But I can't remember what number it was. So it is specifically stated. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I don't have my phone. But it's, is that in one of the manga? It's in our manga there? section. Okay. Uh, the guy with the goggles is the one that tells me about it. Yeah, I think that was. Oh, yeah. Any other comments on? Anyone believe it? now that we've gone through it even deeper? <laughs> no? So we want that one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right here. Oh. Sorry. 
because Nana didn't know about it because, again, no one really knew about it because as, as it's been stated, Izuku is the closest one to yeah. being, like, been able to... He's the first one to see everyone. He's yeah. the first maybe one to see everyone. Like, and then, like, they go on with it, maybe All Might <laughs> had had that strength work because, again, we see him muscle form. Yeah, that's, which, what, I, that's what I wanted so, to say. So meaning, like, maybe the super strength comes with the muscle form, but he, but Izuku is not changing physically. He's because it would be too obvious that, oh, I just got this from All Might, because especially yeah. now after Mutation all that's happened. All that. Yeah. So, like, so Nana muscle form is All Might's work. Well, muscle form is, is, is his contribution to it. Yes. Which so, and the Nana's the strong one, right? Possibly. If you're saying Nana's the yeah. strong one, what did the No, I'm not saying Nana's the yeah. strong one. I'm saying Nana's a different quirk. That like, so it's pop, pop, right? like, um, that all like, Stone Theory actually did a thing on this um, about um, about All Might's secret uh, hidden quirk, and mm -hmm. it, it's because that Deku doesn't get the muscle form, mm -hmm. so it ha it, and and so either he was lying, yeah. <laughs> or or. Um, uh, yeah, no. or, he, or he didn't. This or is going out of canon, I think. Um, sometimes I get confused between canon and fanon because I spend so much time in fanon. But I think, <laughs> I think um, in fanon, people believe that the muscle form is not at all part of it and that it just happens to him. Like, um, As a result it's kind of like a result of him losing. Like or getting past the fish or that. Yeah, so like yeah. it wasn't actually a quirk, it just kind of. We need an extra of all white's foot. But that's him. <laughs> <laughs> we need, we we need, need an extra of all white's foot. It's a quirk. Yeah, that's what I thought too, because then he was, he was yeah. muscular throughout the movie, and the movie we, as we all know now is canon because. stupid, but it's canon. <laughs> <laughs> I like the movie. I saw what was in it, so I mean. <laughs> but yeah, but like, so, so like, so like, so so like that, so the movie says like in the past that All Might was already muscular and he built his muscles to that form. So I thought it was the injury that caused him yeah, to be yeah. come into that like form. Yeah. yeah. And then like the muscular form is just like him reverting Why back to his original. Why does form change his hairstyle? That's what I'm. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I mean, because like, like, he needs a lot of gel. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> the theory to go off of this one is because like, I just thought. Yeah, sorry, what was your... Alright, I'm happy. Hi, I'm here. Co-top, man. So, like, you did have a long run of things, you know, like, work and stuff like that? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Um, sorry, what was your... Okay, to go off of this thing, because you were talking about the muscle core thing. Maybe all for one has been stimulating it, like, now, one for all. Yeah, one for all has been st like the quirk itself has been stimulating his muscles to go like that. So he didn't realize that he actually had a quirk of being able to mutate his muscles to become big and strong. Mm -hmm. And the all for one, like all one for all, had just been stimulating it to make it happen. But then whenever he finally got hurt, it finally made it to where he could actually activate and reactivate it on command. Yeah. Whenever he activates one for all. That's awesome. Yes. Did you have one? Sure. So, um, just to throw a theory out there, we're doing the, we're doing the Star Wars. Uh -huh. uh, so what we're comparing uh, all for one to uh, uh, Darth Vader. Mm -hmm. I think when we do that, we're looking at uh, Star Wars starting at episode three, but we started at episode one. It's, it's an origin story of Darth Vader. Mm -hmm. um, so, in, in that context, Midoriya would be Darth Vader. Deku's a villain? What? <laughs> 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 I'm kidding for that. I can agree for that. <laughs> 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 
I love that AU. Also, Deku's original design is like super emo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw that. Star Wars is definitely all over this stuff. He just loves it. Like, the creator just loves Western stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Western, so like Avengers and stuff. This is, this is another theory, but like. In, in the like, if you look at po uh, pre con like pre before this thing gets before mm -hmm. everything starts happening, we okay, see no. one a villain being uh, Deku being a villain, mm -hmm. and like in an interview, we he was asked like, was is Deku going to become a villain? And it was said that no, that was the original idea was for Deku to become a villain with one for all to work with all for one and pretty much destroy all heroes. Damn. Mm. That was so a villain. That was a villain. That he tossed out the way as soon as the, the school part began. Yeah. Thing. yeah. You have something? Uh, there after this, or is this the last one? Um, no, this is the last one. The, the, the next slide is what are yours? There we go. <laughs> 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 um, so, yeah, so we got 10 minutes left. So, you know, if there's a theory I have not talked about, it's just a theory. Now. Okay, so an anime theory. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, I have a theory. Yes. Froppy is best girl, no one can change my mind. <laughs> Froppy is best girl. Froppy is best girl. Froppy is best girl. <laughs> okay, everyone should drink Aoyama. Aoyama is best girl. Aoyama is best girl. Aoyama is best girl. Aoyama is best Shape or form, other than Aoyama. Oh. Aoyama always stares at the camera in the anime. Yes, oh my god! That would be a blatant disrespect to the stage. He's the fourth. <laughs> he's the fourth wall breaker. He's right right the fourth wall breaker. Wait, right there, right there, right there, he's not breaking the fourth wall. He's the stupid manga. Stupid chocolate thing. Aoyama is beautiful. Yeah, this is the stupid. Aoyama is beautiful. That's why you would want. That's why you would want to be the most so he can be the most important. Aoyama cares about being the center of attention. So if you were to become the mole. He would get all the center of attention that he would want because they would all be going after him. <laughs> I have, they, okay, they, I have that no that idea is a simple about psychology question. Like like I know it, it hurts me too because <laughs> I love I love what Ayama does because Ayama makes Araka blush in like the most obvious. I mean, way. I mean, they they teased and me and that it, it was stupid with the cheese thing. But that's so the, but that's the thing though is like. Yeah. There's so many times where Aoyama doesn't keep a constant thing other than the fact that he wants to be the center of attention and he's always breaking the fourth wall. He's fabulous, that's what he is. And he's also fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> and, but that's the thing, that's the thing, is like Aoyama is like, there's times where Aoyama doesn't do any of that. And that's something that Himako would do. But at the same time though, if he was a traitor and just like knew that something was going to come up, because like in the entire USJ incident, he didn't really do that much or try to take the spotlight because he knew that he would take the spotlight for it because they knew that they would figure out there was a traitor. But then there's times like whenever they're doing the uh, training, like they're doing the final exam and then like he tells Araka that she likes Deku. And he like, he takes the spotlight then. But then whenever it comes to like the, the camp, the camp uh, scene, like he doesn't take the spotlight. Whenever he has multiple times to take the spotlight, pretty much in the anime. In the summer camp, he was hiding in the bush. I just remember that. Oh, yeah. He was okay. um, afraid I don't to know. death. Okay, I don't know. He was vitamin in front of death, but, but he was still trying to get the spotlight. I like the theory that um, Inko Midoriya or uh, Inko Mama, uh, <laughs> Deku Mama, she um, she asked. Uh, she's since she told Toshinori All Might <laughs> to. Um, to live, to look after her son, and so, and so I like to think that she asked for updates on him in the dorms, <laughs> and so Toshinori goes over there, some like maybe Daddy. like once every two weeks or something, and just has coffee with her or tea with her, Aww. and shit time. Anyway, <laughs> the family dynamic is adorable. I'm a multi shipper, but I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Oh, kind of like how All Might would be with Couchy, right? Like, oh, yeah, like, yeah. he is the most like, so much time. Yeah. yeah, he's like a walking GPS, as you said. Yeah. Accidental. So he's, yeah. like, they've trained him, like, oh, he's always with the class. Yeah, so they could be tracking him, he doesn't know it. Okay, I have a way to refute Kaminari being the uh, being the mole, mainly because um, in the uh, in the anime when they're doing the incident. The, the unforeseen training incident, USJ. Another electric quirk user who also is a, a ground quirk user as well comes in and talks about how he's the one jamming it. Oh, and it's no, seen no, that, not, but that's very possible. <laughs> that, 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 exa- that happened because he grabs Kaminari as he's being done because he just overshot mm-hmm. because he's immune oh, to it. Right. Okay, they see and then, therefore, mm-hmm. Kaminari couldn't be the mole because he said that I'm the one jamming your comms. Because it's even said that his own communication device is also being jammed. So why would his own communication device be jammed when he I'm was the mole? I'm going to run with that because I don't, I don't want Kaminari to be the mole. Honestly, saving. Saving, saving it. And then this is also going to incriminate my best girl, which is Sue. Oh, yeah. And Sue is possibly the mole because she cares about everyone so much and that's like she's trying to get... The UA disbanded for being a hero, and that hurts me as much as say it because I, I love Sue. <laughs> Sue is best girl. Sue is, Sue is best girl. Sue is best girl. Sue is best girl. Like to to have that happen would like hurt me, but at the same time warm my heart because she doesn't want Shizuku to get hurt anymore. Because we all know, make more green needs to happen. There needs to be more green. <laughs> also. Yes, what's yours? I forgot my train of thought. Uh, so I have a theory, I want to go back to the, um, to the, to, uh, to Danny, to Danny Midoriya and, mm-hmm. and, uh, and the comment about he might appear soon and, and, and people were asking like when was that uh, announced? Uh, I found the tweet. Oh yes, when was that announced? July 2018. That's so it was seriously so was after the last um, all the ones Way after. Okay. Oh, so oh, that makes sense because I was at San Diego Comic Con like around that yeah. time. Yeah. And that was July 18th. Okay. Okay. And he was there at. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he had the shoes in there. Yeah. So specifically, like his father bio, like uh-huh. uh, that stems from manga, is that he's a, a traveling chef for like a cruise Tra- ship. Chef? Traveling chef. Yeah. That's, that's literally what it says for him. And that's the, like, his mom doesn't work, so the, the way that he gets funding, or, like, the way that, like, they pay off for the house and things... Was from the dad. Yeah. Was from the dad. And, and, or like, child that, that care makes after she left, or after he left. Because, you know, he doesn't... Job have support pays bills, people. He doesn't, have the same, he doesn't have the same last name as Inko. He doesn't? He, no, if you actually, like, look at his, uh, his name, he has, um, I forget what it Midoriya. is, but it's not, it's not Midoriya. So they might they might have they might be divorced, <laughs> which is, is better for Yagi. May, again, maybe all my hey, random theory, random theory. All Might is actually Deku's dad. And, oh wait, now listen, follow me on this. One. Follow, uh, yeah, we're going to shit my shit, but then follow, follow me on this one. Follow me on this one. Again, it's re- that it, it's said that he's revealed soon, but at the same time, though, there's been multiple times where characters have been revealed to be someone really important. But they weren't revealed to be that important character, mm-hmm. but they've already been revealed. Mm-hmm. As we've seen, uh, before All My Training, Deku shares a very similar body type to All My body type when he's in his skinny form. Mm-hmm. Very scrawny, very weak until he gains, until he starts working for it to get the quirk. And then to keep just going a little bit further, like even though the hair match doesn't match up, uh-huh. then like again, quirks do things weird. Just like, like real quick, funny okay, thing. Like yeah, real quick, funny thing. If um, if uh, no. Monoma uh, copied um, Deku's quirk, would he explode? No. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Who'd you say? If Monoma copied Deku's quirk, would he explode? Oh. He can't. He can't, can't copy the quirk because he can't copy because the quirk because it's not his quirk. quirk. Already, yeah, but like. Yeah. Monomo would get suspicious, like, why did I get anything? No, he did. <laughs> they didn't say anything, it's just uh, the way that his power is, like, if it's an energy-based power, he can't copy it. 
So, are you, so are you saying that all uh, are you saying that all for one is an energy based one? Yeah. It's like five. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Look the Yuri on Ice panel. Steph.